So I'd like to take a moment to talk a bit about um, ways that looking at bivariate analysis, and in particular I'll use plots as an example, where it can be a bit misleading. Now, the, the real point of this is not to make you distrust data, but to make you think that sometimes, even when you think you're doing a good job of looking at um, association between two variables, that there might be other third variables you're not thinking about or that you need to explore a bit more deeply. So what I wanted to show you is relation, examples of ways relationships can be masked or relationships can appear to be there when they're actually not. So this first example I put here, uh, and these are, I'm going to say these are very textbook examples which I'm going to do. Okay, Data in the real world isn't always this nice and, and clean, but I want to make a point with what I'm doing here. Okay, so here, if we look, it's just a cloud of points. There really doesn't seem to be much association between X and Y. But now what I'm going to do is consider that maybe there's another third variable. I'm going to call it X2, which has three different groups. Okay? So there's the blue, there's the green, and there's the purple. Okay, so there's actually some other variable, X2, that breaks people into three categories. And maybe in this cloud of points, these are the purple points. This is the green group. And here is the blue group. Now, obviously it's an exaggerated textbook example, but what I'm trying to show here is it looks like there's no association, but when we account for this third variable, we can actually see if we fit a line separating into the purple, the green, and the blue group, there actually is an association between X and Y. If it is being hidden by this other variable. Now, what I want to do is show you, again, sometimes when there appears to be an association, that might be an artifact of some other variable that's making it appear that way. And again, I'm going to use the same example. Consider a third variable that breaks people into one of three categories. And it might actually be the case that the purple group sitting here, just in a nice cloud of points, no real association. Green groups here, again, a cloud of points, no real association. And blue group in this cloud of points, no real association. Okay, but lack of identifying this third variable is making it appear as though there is an association. Where if we separate them into groups, right, we actually see there's not really any association between X and Y once we account for this third variable. So what I really wanted to do was just make you aware of the way relationships can be masked or the way they can appear to be there when they're not. We've seen this a little bit in some ways in our data when we looked at there was an association between uh, smoking and lung capacity when we did not adjust for anything, but actually that was quite wrong what we saw. Right? Smokers had a higher lung capacity than non-smokers. And there was this third variable, age, that was distorting that relationship. So these are a little bit different than, than that there, but just trying to make the point of we always need to be careful, even when we think we're exploring all the bivariate relationships to try and dig into our data, things like these can still happen if we're not careful. Stick around, guys. There's more to see, and please stay safe.